uh, okay so we will just start the session uh, though it's a bit uh, lengthy one so i cannot cover each and everything within uh, one hour or two hours uh, so it's a full uh, kind of a workshop or internship uh, on satellites so obviously i cannot cover each and everything and uh, those of you who have joined for uh, world space week uh, since this is a public event so welcome all uh, my name is samir i am the founder of space for india foundation uh, which is a private uh, not for profit ngo and uh, we work in the space science and science in general uh, and research work basically so uh, hi akrish uh, that's nice you have visited the isro center i have not been there uh, that's good so basically uh, since 4 till 10th of october was a or is a world space week uh, till 15th also we can celebrate unfortunately i hardly get uh, weekends to uh, do something so uh, we will just start with world space week main focus will be this time theme is uh, satellites how satellites improve our life and how they have changed the world so uh, last time the topic was on the moon and uh, various other topics every year they keep on changing so we have to go by the theme uh, this is just to share the knowledge and uh, uh, how much uh, you guys can understand or anyone else can understand the importance of space science in general so without delaying i will just start with the session so that you can uh, have a understanding uh, there might be few things uh, which uh, might be skipped i will try my level best to upload small short videos in detail on youtube channel our youtube channel so that uh, you can get uh, best uh, best of the knowledge and how things work and uh, the images and uh, few things are their material which have been taken from various sources so all image credits and uh, videos and everything goes to each and every respective owner so uh, we don't claim that this is our image or their image so just uh, word of precaution i would say so uh, why do we celebrate world space week it is an international celebration just like we celebrate uh, asteroid day is there or uh, some other day international moon day which was uh, we celebrated last uh, two weeks also as you are aware so world space week is uh, un uh, recognized wherein they wanted to stress on the importance of uh, space science in general how space science and space technology is changing our world and how it will be in the future so world space week uh, is celebrated from 4 till uh, 10th of october why because in uh, october on october 4th 1957 sputnik 1 which was the first ever uh, human made earth satellite was uh, uh, sent to the space so this was the very first uh, earth satellite which was sent and on uh, 10th of october 1967 there was a treaty signed between uh, various countries uh, around 100 plus now 110 maybe uh, wherein uh, they agreed that uh, the space law should be there and uh, it should be useful uh, used for peaceful uh, purpose so it should not be something like uh, i am sending something uh, to attack someone or uh, make some problems uh, just like earlier we used to have world war 1 world war 2 or maybe uh, some small cold wars and all those things so it was a kind of a peace treaty and uh, we had space laws uh, even though it still keeps on going uh, changing and uh, going on so that's the reason october since both were october different years so october 4th till october 10th we celebrate this world space week to spread the awareness and to connect basically so this is the pic of sputnik 1 uh, which was under uh, preparation Uh, it had very basic uh, radio communications and uh, uh, ground to uh, space uh, communication not much and the purpose also was uh, you all must be knowing uh, something between ussa usa and uh, uh, russia ussr at that time happened there was a competition going on so that's the reason how they launched the satellite this concept of satellite came into picture and even the rocketry also and this is the picture of uh, ussr USA uh, UK and other countries signing the treaty so that's how we celebrate so now uh, why we need to explore space or why space exploration is required just a little bit touch base i will do there are few things uh, that have been done 
just for uh, uh, doing purpose. And there are many, many things that are being done uh, for humanitarian purpose. So, but then again, everything is correlated. If Russia or USSR did not had any competition with USA, then all the space exploration may or may not be there. Just like uh, as I have been uh, giving previously examples, if wheel was not invented by uh, someone, I don't know the name of the person, right? So if wheel was not invented, then what would have happened? So bus, rail, trail, train, sorry, uh, even air, airplane uses wheel, right? Everything uses wheel. So what would happen if wheel was not invented? What would happen if electricity was not invented? So many things are there. Even astrologers are there. Astronomy is there. Astronomers are there. Uh, then it progresses to space exploration. So everything is interrelated, if you see. So astronomy has multiple divisions, one of which is the aerospace or space industry, uh, with which uh, actually we are also working and uh, proceeding further. So that's how, uh, that's the reason why we need space exploration. So uh, it all started with the competition, as I told you. So from uh, USA, we had Robert Goddard. Uh, Goddard Space Station is there. So, uh, this is how they used to uh, build or uh, carry their uh, sounding rockets at that time. Or whatever engines were there or fuel propellants were there. So that was the initial time where a lot of research work has been done at a very low cost and very effective scientific method. How we can send a space uh, rocket or sounding rocket, I would say. Or uh, how satellites can be built later on after uh, Russia did uh, those Sputnik 1 and uh, sent other things. So that's how the space exploration uh, was there. So after the World War or during the World War II, uh, basically Germany was the main lead. Uh, they had missiles and all those things, uh, V2 and all. There is so a lot of background. Uh, noise Von Von, uh, basically, he was a German scientist, not a US scientist. So he was the one who actually carried out all the experiments, everything for USA NASA. So NASA at that time, I've, I'm not comparing any space agency, but I'm just telling what exactly happened. Uh, so there are, uh, there might be few things uh, which I might be, uh, uh, Ashutosh actually all are on mute, my understanding. Is. No, sir. Okay, let me just do it again. So, uh, Basically, he was a very uh, kind of a fanatic uh, researcher and a scientist and a, a rocket engineer. So he kept on trying uh, and with his small team, he was actually forced to uh, do it uh, because uh, in Germany, the situation you all must be knowing during World War II, what was the case. So uh, along with other team members and uh, James Van Allen, on which uh, his name Van Allen Belt is also there. Uh, today, I'm not going to discuss about when and then when. So uh, there were so many things. So Saturn V, which is the mightiest and the strongest of all. Uh, I haven't seen any such rocket till date. Uh, of course, technology has changed and so many things have changed. But still, it is one of the classic examples who took uh, NASA USA to the moon. So if uh, a rocket can take at that time when there was no programming, proper programming, uh, like what uh, we have touch screen via SpaceX or no technology in place that was uh, too much advanced or how computerization changed the world. So at that time, so many things were involved. So many team members were there. So many, uh, including ladies and gents. So a uh, lot of uh, space exploration and failures were there. So before Apollo mission, there was Gemini uh, mission, which kept on failing and uh, progressing, I would say, not failing, but progressing. Then Apollo 11, that is the reason why uh, Apollo 11 mission was uh, successful in first place. Had it been if Gemini uh, space mission did not happen, then Apollo 11, I don't know what would have happened. So it is something like I am contributing my success to USA or to the world. I am paving my uh, feet on failures of others. It is something like that. So others have failed so that I can become successful. So that's how uh, we call the first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong. But actually, you see, there are a lot of failures beneath it. So it is not something that within a day or within a two, uh, they have, they were actually successful. So uh, going forward.
so this is how our isro uh, space satellite research program and everything started so we started from a church and then uh, this is how from bicycle uh, we started everything sounding rocket and all and uh, just one word that isro also took help of nasa only so it was something like uh, apj kalam sir and vikram sara bhai uh, some engineers or rocket uh, space engineers like uh, apj kalam sir will sent to usa nasa to study and analyze how they can bring in the rocket technology over here advanced technology even though earlier if i say uh, tipu sultan was there who used to do a lot of artillery firework which went to uk and uk made a lot of progress based on that uh, rocket since it was uncontrollable if you have uh, uh, read the history otherwise i do have a document i will try to share on tipu sultan also so i am not saying tipu sultan was great or whatever before that also chinese were the first ones to use the fireworks so everything uh, one country's advancement becomes another's uh, country's uh, fate i would say some were successful some were not successful so so many things are there uh, that has happened so it is something that uh, i am doing something you get success because of me i get success because of 10 pe- more people so it is something like that at that time so this is what is there today even uh, they are progressing to fourth stage now so 109 spacecraft missions have been happened including three nano satellites one micro small ones uh 77 launch missions seven 10 student satellites they are now concentrating more on uh more on atmanirbhar bharat uh two reentry missions two 319 including 104 which is famous uh satellites at one go so um everyone knows what is a satellite but still i would love to uh, do a, a basic uh, understanding just give me a minute okay so this is just a example of how uh, you can compare what is a satellite so if i have a, a ball uh, which is uh, tied to a rope i would say or a hammer throw in this case if i continuously keep on doing like this so this man standing at the center is the earth and uh, the ball until as he does not uh, release it is a satellite which is very small so a man is standing at the center a ball is there or it could be any other object uh, including pen or a pencil uh, maybe i need to change the wallpaper now okay let us do it i think now it will be better so uh, what happens is if a man is standing at the center or anyone is standing at the center or even a pole is there if a continuously any object is moving small object is there it is keep, it keeps on moving just like earth and the moon is there so this is my earth this is my moon right it keeps on continuously going until a something happens and it goes way too far then that will not be a satellite so our moon is a satellite of earth which is a natural satellite i have not created you have not created this moon or the earth right and all the planets are moving around the sun so sun is a bigger object compared to all the planets so planets in a way act as a planets uh, as a satellite of the or satellites i would say eight satellites or including uh, asteroids comets any small minuscule uh, meteorites uh, debris everything which ever uh, whatever is uh, going around the sun is called as satellite for them and even our solar system is also going further it is going round uh, it is moving in the space so that is again satellite of something else so this is a one example which you can compare and then uh, i will just go to uh, this particular scenario uh, before that uh, what is a natural satellite even the moon is a natural satellite of the earth all other satellites what we have created in today's date like even uh, hubble space telescope is there whatever famous uh, telescopes uh, james webb or parker solar probe it is uh, probing around the sun so it is a satellite of a sun temporarily until as its uh, fuel goes off or sun uh, eats uh, parker solar probe or it could be anything else okay so uh, this satellite is a natural satellite and the one uh, is the uh, this one is the uh, earth's uh, uh, artificial satellite which has been uh, created by us for a particular mission or a 
a uh, particular uh, uh, purpose so there are types of satellites uh, as what i was telling so uh, there are so many moons in our uh, solar system so that is not made by us or not man made or uh, created by natural forces we don't know exactly what happened during the big bang or now th different theories coming before big bang also something else happened so we don't know we keep on studying and analyzing what is happening so moon is going around the earth in our solar system planets asteroids comets everything is going around the sun even uh, our solar system is uh, moving around and one galaxy might be uh, going around a bigger uh, galaxy so that is how the things are working in uh, uh, our nature that's why we call it as a natural satellite so all the moons uh, including our earth's moon which is just a small part uh, ganymede is the biggest one and earth's moon is the fifth uh, smallest so all these moons in our uh, solar system are natural satellites they are moving with bigger object so just like jupiter is there so ganymede is moving around io is there uh, 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 pluto is moving around uh, even though pluto is not considered to be a planet but still it is a natural satellite of the uh, sun so again coming back to this uh, picture uh, sorry this pic so moon obviously is a satellite sun is not a satellite because it is not moving around any bigger object these are all uh, artificial satellites uh, which um, are man made earth again is a satellite jupiter is a satellite including international space station which is the biggest satellite uh, which we can see or take images uh, if we have a telescope uh, then uh, we can take uh, a picture of international space station sorry just give me a minute so uh, this is the difference between natural as well as the uh, other satellites am i audible anyone who can uh, confirm yes sir you are audible yes, yes sir, sir you are audible hello hello yes sir you are audible Uh, but the video is frozen for me. Yes, sir, you are audible. Uh, um. Okay. Uh, there are questions pouring in, so maybe I will just answer some of them. Uh, yes, sir, you can ask your question, uh, Sidik. Also, maybe I can take up later on. Also, uh, Akrish. Uh, sorry, Arkish. Uh, Krish. Uh, if you go to a space uh, you need lot of permissions it is not something i can go on my own so obviously uh, if you are representing a country like india or us or russia or europe then you are officially an astronaut lot of training is required uh, so it is not simple that i will just wear the astronaut suit and i will just go to the space uh, i will take up more questions later on uh, the sun revolve mayur uh, in our next sessions uh, we are going to talk about berry center and uh, the sun so everything is revolving why it is revolving it is the same concept like planets is there uh, but it is not something like sun's gravity only is affecting uh, there is a concept of berry center also lot of calculations are there so uh, okay good uh, maybe i will take up few questions later on because we have very uh, sorry uh, limited time so but otherwise what i will do is uh, i can do one thing i can create short videos on whatever your questions are if uh, they are worth it otherwise i will just answer them via mail or whatsapp so don't worry i am going to answer or our team is going to answer each and everything okay so uh, so there was uh, one in between news also uh, that there is a temporary satellite of earth initially it was speculated that uh, this zoom sorry uh, is creating lot of mess so it was uh, thought of uh, as a natural satellite but later on it was found after a lot of graphical that its color is not changing it is not dimming properly and so many other things were there so uh, it was uh, the spectrum what was analyzed was uh, same as that of a rocket debris so saturn v rocket is uh, titanium oxide painted uh, so which means it was an official officially an artificial satellite for a temporary basis and then if you can see the second orbit then it just moved away it is now i think uh, behind the sun so it is not orbiting the moon uh, the earth now 
so that's how basically that was a temporary satellite just like uh, we have cassini mission or uh, juno mission so uh, cassini mission cassini spacecraft of nasa it was uh, going round and round around the saturn sometimes taking elliptical path sometimes coming very close after until less it uh, just uh, went into the atmosphere and it died right till that time it was a satellite so anything which is moving around a bigger object is known as a satellite even if you send your favorite toy or even a bicycle or just like tesla uh, is there if you have uh, seen those missions spacex tesla so even tesla is a satellite even though its purpose might be different tesla's uh, purpose was totally different compared to the other satellites but it is still a satellite and unless it is going it has just recently uh, for the first time uh, reached the orbit of the mars and uh, it is going uh, accordingly further so that's how uh, basically things work so this in small animation i made uh, so this is the moon this is a temporary satellite or artificial satellite so everything is going around so satellites obviously natural satellites have more uh, life span millions and millions of years until something happens so if some object crashes into the moon and it takes it far away then obviously our satellite is gone or it could be uh, every year it is moving by an inch or some uh, particular distance so if suppose moon is not a, a satellite of the earth it is not going round then what will happen it will go farther away it it is possible that it will it might uh, be pulled by a gravity of some other uh, uh, planet or it could be something or it could be there is a possibility that some asteroids or some meteorite small dust or it could be anything is uh, attracted towards the moon and that becomes a satellite of the moon moon doesn't have any satellite right so moon is the satellite of the earth but moon doesn't have any satellite so there might be a possibility so that is how the satellite concept is uh, originated so this is the international space station again it is uh, uh, going around 400 km range uh, leo uh, basically what we call uh, low earth uh, orbit that's why it keeps on drifting so uh, whenever there is a drift they have to do a correction they have to use their fuel then again it will come back to the orbit that's how things work uh, sorry just give me a minute okay so that's how uh, these things work so anything uh, these this is just an example of how many satellites this is very less i took an animation but there are thousands and thousands of satellites uh, uh, that keep on uh, launching including the famous uh, spacex starlink for internet also so every month or every certain months they are targeting to launch satellites so a lot of satellites are they are moving around the earth just like uh, it will become a constellation or just like asteroid belt is there with n number of asteroids so uh, this is the picture of our depiction of our solar system so everything which whatever including uh, uh, the neptune the trans neptunian asteroid belt or uh, neos are there uh, near earth or orbit uh, asteroids so so many things are there everything is a part of a uh, satellite for the sun so that's how it goes basically so uh, this pic uh, from our artificial satellite and this one is the from the isro so basically artificial satellites are uh, man made just like parker solar probe is there cassini missions are there or new horizon uh, pluto mission is there or any small uh... so the small satellites which we are working slightly bigger than this uh, it will be slightly bigger than this you can have it in your hands also purpose is different so each and every satellite has a different mission with natural satellite it is totally different it doesn't have any mission it is just going here and there but yes uh, moon is affecting gravity of the earth and uh, whatever low tides and high tides are there so everything has some or the other uh, mission or effect or you can say anything like that okay so uh, artificial satellites have a certain life span maybe 10 days 10 years 15 years 20 30 years it depends on the orbit and uh, what type of material and what type of uh, uh, circumstances are there atmospheric and others so uh, purpose is different navigational satellites uh, communication weather satellites earth observation 
astronomical uh, satellites are there like uh, hubble space is there parker solar probe or even our indian version astrosat is there so uh, altitudes depends on the i cannot comment uh, which altitude this satellite will be in it will all depend on the person or the group or the space agency who is making those satellites it all depends on the pur purpose so if i have to monitor a particular area in india like uh, delhi region is there or i am uh, i am sending a space uh, satellite for spying purpose on uh, border countries or just to keep an eye on what's happening at the border some activity is there or something it could be uh, very specific even usa is doing uh, very uh, specific uh, uh, space satellite navy naval launch which they don't tell the uh, target or uh, they don't disclose what is the purpose they just launch it so there are so many things uh, which are there so we have uh, broadly three terms uh, uh, three orbits leo is there uh, medium earth is there neo what we call and geostationary then we have sun synchronous uh, then we have uh, heo is there and so many things are there uh, that is a, again a broader uh, topic how calculations are done what is this what is that so i cannot cover again everything <coughs> this is basically a common structure of a bigger satellite smaller satellite will have a slightly different uh, architecture so there is one uh, bus i would say or a container uh, just like in computer there is a concept of bus so everything is connected to that main uh, uh, onboard computer i would say so uh, it has power source solar panel solar panel uh, i will tell in a while uh, what is the purpose uh, just a little bit science instruments whatever science instruments depending on the weight if you have seen uh, the movie mission mangalyaan it though it has a lot of technical faults uh, though that movie i have seen it uh, in cinema hall but still uh, it was uh, a good example to kids and all how things are done or with limited budget what you can do i am not saying indians are the first ones to do it uh, even usa has done or other countries have done each one has a, each space agency has a different uh, budget so india obviously due to so many constraints are there we have very limited uh, budget that's why we are not sending each and everything in a hurry or uh, we don't have any planned missions after aditya van or gaganyaan or like that these have all come up uh, in latest uh, sorry recent few years but after that what uh, we have to decide the ones uh, which are bigger uh, like nasa is there or jaxa is there or esa is there they have lot of good budget and they keep on uh, getting all the uh, government approvals also whatever support is required and they collaborate also that is the biggest uh, thing they collaborate with esa or some other uh, uh, countries also so basically their budget is very flexible so that's the reason why they keep on launching some of the other mission cassini mission or juno mission everything is nasa or a combination of multiple instruments like chandrayaan one from india but very uh, few limited missions are there by indians uh, which have been uh, based uh, in collaboration with nasa or any other agencies so in india in its own uh, whatever missions they are doing is what they are doing. so bus or the container is there outer part is there and in that bus is there which has all the ports and the connectivity so it is basically the main uh, body i would say of uh, the satellite so our satellite needs to have some sort of container to hold everything and it has uh, all the covers and the protection and uh, windows or whatever and then we have solar panels for power and uh, we do have uh, uh, batteries we need to have backup batteries also and we need to have solar panels also and then we have various scientific instrument, instruments again it is not fixed <coughs> all others uh, Uh, very slightly but uh, most of them are common so container power source and orientation finder will remain more or less the same until there some objective change so a container can be small size or a bigger size uh, including three floors uh, not even this room size it could be bigger bigger much bigger than us or than that and it couldn't be smaller like this so it all depends on the purpose and the uh, what is your achievement target so uh, power source apart from that scientific instruments like if i am sending astrosat uh, which is a satellite uh, sorry this is a very lightweight paper model astrosat so uh, 
obviously it's uh, slightly off so basically this is the one of the achievements of india they have their own satellite with telescopes and x rays and everything so as for said you can study more on isro's website so it has lot of uh, uh, instruments and recently also a lot of uh, things have been discovered in last week only black holes and other things so it basically uh, scans the galaxies nearby galaxies for more detailed view that was the purpose it was in collaboration with ayuka uh, pune that is a university astrophysics uh, so astro said uh, has uh, different scientific instruments whereas uh, uh, rohini one or bhaskara at that time or even uh, sputnik they all had a different mission so based on the mission these instruments keep on changing it can be more depending on the weight how much weight it can carry and it can be just one uh, scientific instrument obviously it will not be because uh, when i am sending a, a mission like this a lot of cost is involved so i will uh, i would like to have each and everything on a, and make it very light so that my cost and fuel everything is safe so so many parameters are there so many uh, chemistry physics everything is applied including mathematics without that uh, nothing is possible so we do have a communication device or a, just like a, a parabolic uh, i would say a, a dish antenna i would say in a common way just like you have tata sky or anything like that so it is fabricated in a different environment not like the same what we have dish antenna and orientation finder is to just to make sure that uh, what is upside and what is downside and how to orient it basically so uh, it is just like a star finder uh, which direction i have to look which way i have to go so thrusters are there based on that only it will uh, use some fuel and it will go to some other orbit but which direction and how that is the purpose of orientation now uh, finder it is not always uh, necessary it will be there in all the satellites so all the satellites uh, as such have uh, antennas a different type of antenna that, that yeah. helps in course correction its purpose is different so it does not need orientation finder whereas mm-hmm. the bigger ones uh, any satellite you see uh, launched by nasa or uh, isro <coughs> sorry <coughs> will have orientation finder or a star tracker we will say so this is the uh, small uh, which we are also working small nano satellite uh, structure aluminum panels mostly panels are there different layers are there we will have on board computer one it could be just one on board computer like we will be using arduino or raspberry pi or a combination of both it depends on again the mission whether we want more sensitive data like scanning of the sky particular area or what what is the purpose so what we are building right now are three satellites nano satellites two are for mhr radio uh, which will help in disaster management at least uh, we can help whatever way we can so it will increase the radio communication and one satellite will be for space science uh, communication uh, and research work basically that's the plan we are still working a lot of work has to be done it is not uh, just straight forward i do 3d printing of this i just put in arduino i just put in uh, uh, raspberry pi and it's all done that is a toy so anything smaller than this uh, handle in fact this is also a toy actually and otherwise if it is bigger then only the circuits and everything can be put in if it is smaller than this then it is of no use it is just a toy which we cannot even track with my uh, antenna this is the antenna what i am using yagi antenna with which i track even uh, my ground station for our satellites will be based on this only it can send data to a satellite what needs to be done and it can uh, receive data also so as of now i don't have license so i am doing the receiving part only i can receive uh, data from satellites unless uh, it is publicly uh, i mean uh, not public so this is a bigger satellite uh, it has different type of earth centers uh, sensors uh, antenna is there uh, which band it is a band i am not going to cover just little bit only i will tell because it is very complex how radio frequencies how uh, fdma and all those things are there a lot of things are there so it is not just a one day uh, thing which i can tell and complete so we have solar arrays as uh, same as uh, nano satellite everything needs a power right so uh, fuel tank is there fuel propulsion is totally different as compared to nano satellite nano satellite doesn't need that much fuel but still if thrusters are there with batteries and fuel uh, cost will definitely incre- increase 
so uh, this is a model rocket this is my first actually rocket which i launched in um, the field uh, which will go to a certain feet or uh, meters 100 to 150 meters this exploration and astronomy not even the mobiles uh, with which we are taking so beautiful selfies or even i do sometimes astrophotography including the uh, heating uh, material like if i heat i heal so basically these machines were uh, created for sensitive uh, plant growth in space so so many including nike air shoes and soul is there which was uh, first made for uh, space exploration by nasa so so many things are there without space exploration things would be including the uh, purifier air purifier and the uh, water purifier actually uh, what we use in our houses is a modified uh, small version of uh, what was made for space exploration first so this is the sun city singapore i have been there so there is a purifier so it keeps on purifying the water electrolysis is, is there and this uh, sheet is there aluminum and other metal compare uh, sheet is there which is used to protect uh, astronauts and uh, other equipments uh, from a lot of heat which is coming from the sun or internally also if i using my mobile it will get overheat so to absorb that heat and uh, protect everything else uh, these uh, things are used and even the vacuum cleaner which we have today in our houses was first made by nasa with with the, uh, some company i uh, i forgot the name uh, black something back and something but uh, it was actually used for uh, absorbing the dust and anything uh, which is there in the instruments or uh, rocket also including the fire alarm which is there smoke alarm uh, this was made for spacecraft first then only this concept uh, spread through along uh, so many uh, years x ray memory foam memory foam was made for astronauts the bed which we are sitting memory foam uh, foam uh, we call it bed and everything so that uh, bed foam and the, including the air pin uh, cushion what we have so that was made for astronauts only not for a common people actually all these things including the ear thermometer that was uh, uh, made for astronauts so all the satellites uh, why is covered in gold because we love gold we purchase gold we sell gold right but that is not the case uh, it is a yellow layer which is a combination of so many metals Uh, which has been uh, it's like a multi layer insulation just like a uh, okay let me give you an example this is my wire there is a outer coating which protects all the wires inside the copper wire that too also has a uh, different coating red blue green like that if you have seen uh, some electrician coming at your place then you would have seen so insulator is there this acts as a uh, insulator whatever gold you see so it is for protection purpose then there are further sub insulation layers also inside so it is just to give a protection uh, from the solar radiations which are coming because every time uh, it is coming in the day time when it is directly facing the sun then a uh, lot of temperature is there 3 300 fahrenheit uh, temperature is there as you already know we have atmosphere which absorbs uh, most of the heat so that's why we are having very limited uh, earth atmosphere where uh, we are protected with ozone layer and with atmosphere otherwise i don't know what will happen for us same thing if i go to venus yeah. things will be different yes okay uh, i will just yes, sir yeah yes yeah, uh, if uh, yeah won't the solar rays heat us and we will all die if, i mean if the atmosphere will go No, no, no. Uh, see, it is not a straightforward uh, process. What happens is we do have uh, Earth's magnetism, right? So uh, Earth has a Van Allen belt and magnetism, basically. So whenever uh, there is a normal, I would say, normal uh, solar radiation which keeps on happening every day, uh, we have auras. What is there in the North Pole and the South Pole? Same thing happens with all the planets, including Jupiter and Saturn and everything. So what happens is when they interact with our atmosphere not even atmosphere but the outer layer magnetosphere basically then our magnetism uh, basically repels it goes till moon and all other planets so we are safe if we have atmosphere we are not safe 
if solar radiation increases very much and it also disrupts the satellites i will take it up as a separate topic uh, when we discuss how the sun uh, maybe next week itself i will discuss on the magnetism part how the sun's uh, magnetism changes dynamically so uh, this is for those who are attending our uh, uh, curriculum astronomy curriculum uh, nidhi uh, again depends again depends uh, how long can satellite stay in orbit uh, different satellite ranges are there like this one it will hardly last for 3 uh, 4 months or 6 months max again i will have to send a satellite again it depends i, I mean the, sir i'm um, sir yes yes jeet uh, sir i mean actually the satellites uh, i mean uh, maybe she Uh, actually meant that what is the world record of the longest satellite in space when you say world record i am not keeping a track or uh, what is the world record see again it all depends there are so many satellites which have gone beyond 100 years also but that too is not um, considered space debris sir the oldest why uh, so uh, we cannot compare uh, which satellite has uh, what range again it depends on the orbit i will just come in a while so now why it is gold uh, yes yeah is it co covered with real gold or co no, color no. i am just coming to that only so it is a polyester uh, film uh, combination of multi layer just like we have this uh, uh, plastic i mean not this plastic but uh, chemical composition is uh, totally different and insulation also keeps on changing again depending on the uh, orbit and uh, what is the purpose of satellite if it is always facing the sun oh. sun synchronous then again uh, it will change so material combination will depend on satellite purpose location and orbit it cannot be same for all typically it is same but again it depends on the orbit and uh, how it is so if it is at a geostationary it will be just like day and night for the satellite then requirement will be low compared to sun synchronous which is always pointing towards the sun so whatever is pointing towards the sun which is again day part will have more uh, insulation different material which can actually uh, take care of that heat which is coming so uh, we do use gold when i am just going to tell so uh, just like on moon when it is day time it is very hot astronauts cannot even uh, survive without the astronaut suits at that time and when it is cold it is really very cold on moon so same way uh, whatever satellites are there facing the um, sun part will need this uh, gold or what we call fools gold i would say or the foil part but yes we do go use uh, gold uh, so basically what happens is the visor which is there which protects the helmet part visibility when they are working astronauts are working in international space station when they are going for uh, space walk <laughs> right they have a visor which has a gold the real gold but it is very very ah. ultra light and it is just a layer of it so basically uh, it helps in protection against the ultraviolet light light and x rays and invisible lights which can uh, uh, destroy the eyes or the retinas or the body parts also of astronauts so eyes are very sensitive as you all know if i directly look at the sun so obviously you know what is going to happen and uh, this uh, protection is also against the dust protection because dust is also but uh, sir is gold used at least yes because it is, it is used okay it is used but uh, as i said uh, it is obviously costly plus it has a, a limited role i would say so as i told helmet is there visor is there when they are uh, doing a space walk in uh, space there is no sunset sunrise sun never sets sun never rises anywhere right it is yes. just the orbit and how the earth or any other planet is moving around the sun so sun is there it is passing on the light everywhere okay so that light yes, if we could be standing on the sun then we would see earth going up and then earth going down right yes yes if we can stand on the sun if right even though that is not that possible yes. well maybe in the future it will yes so monisha why we use this yellow covering actually it's a combination so it looks yellow from outer side 
I can give you more detail, but uh, again, chemical composition, everything has to be discussed. Maybe I will just give after uh, this uh, our conversation. Nidhi is asking: Is there any possibility of eating satellites very much every day, every hour? Uh, again, it depends on uh, people like us. If we are blindly sending satellites mm -hmm. and we are not aware uh, which part or which orbit location we have to send, there is a high possibility. There have been instances. Wherein uh, uh, satellites have collided. Also, I don't have that video, but you can uh, definitely find out on YouTube also. So basically, gold protects from those uh, ultraviolet X-rays and against the cor uh, corrosion, uh, which happens, which can happen, which can impact the internal uh, sensors and everything. Whatever sensors are there inside, everything is gold covered. That reason only. It is just like we are wearing a jacket just to protect ourselves from the wind. Cold wind or uh, winters are there just to protect ourselves. So it is something like this. Uh, what happens? Uh, Sadiksha, he was just uh, giving an example. So, anyways, uh, if sun rays are coming directly at the day-night side, then all these satellites definitely need a gold plating. And I cannot do something like that. This, when uh, it is facing the sun, I will have this protection. When it is uh, behind the Earth or some other uh, below side, North Pole, South Pole, then I have to move this jacket. It is not possible. So it has to be there all the time, until unless uh, more wear and tear is there. Once wear and tear starts, then obviously instruments will get uh, affected. Then life of orbit uh, satellite will uh, obviously decrease day by day. So these are the various uh, you must have studied in NCRT books. I cannot go in detail. So uh, Anything beyond Karman line, which is uh, near space, 100 kilometers range, you can launch a satellite. You can launch uh, rockets, also sounding rocket. Even uh, we were working on the sounding rocket. So beyond that, uh, you can satellites uh, can be launched. Again, it all depends uh, where it, the satellite is. If it is very near, then gravity will be there. Then Earth's atmosphere will be there, which can impact its uh, satellite's life. So again. What is the life of a satellite? The wide question. Again, it depends on so many things. So, how satellite work? I'm just giving you random uh, example. So, suppose I am the courier guy. Okay, I am a common courier guy. Yesjeet or anyone wants to send some courier, some package, maybe a telescope, or it could be a spacecraft from one location to another. So, I am the courier guy. Guy, uh, I am a satellite. I am receiving something. I am sending something. So give and take, basically. So satellite acts when uh, we need more uh, communication uh, to be uh, covered, so more distance to be covered. So it is something like I am. Uh, I have a dish antenna, TV dish antenna, in Delhi location, and I want to send transmit some data to Antarctica. Suppose. So I will have a satellite in between. I will send data to it. It will send data to Antarctica, my guys. Okay. So. Satellite needs two stations, one in some location and someone uh, some other station. So basically, two stations are there. If they are very near, we don't need a satellite. Radio communication can happen directly, just like a uh, 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 telephone is there, mobile is there, until uh, it is working straightforward, line of sight. Basically, we call it amateur radio, uh, which requires uh, radio communication. It does not require satellite all the time. So two stations are there. I will show with the help of a picture. <clears throat> two dish antennas are there. If someone has seen it, then we have a satellite uh, communication uh, satellite phone. So basically, what will happen is station will send uh, some message. My name is Samir. Suppose it sends to a satellite in the form of wave or in the form of electromagnetism. It will go to the satellite which acts as a courier. So I am the courier guy. Okay. Now it will also tell me it will have the address where to send this message. I cannot send to everyone until unless uh, that is the purpose. So it will say Antarctica, my friend is there. So I will send that message only to Antarctica or nearby areas that particular. So there is a frequency. There is an address which is very unique. Each and every satellite has a different address. So just like my house number is there. No one else can give my house number to anyone else. If they are doing, they are sending message to a wrong guy. Okay. If I am a courier guy, I am sending this message to someone else. 
it will not receive over there because uh, there are security encryptions and other things algorithms are there in between then it will not receive that particular data so that's how the uh, this is a very simple example i have given courier guy is there as a satellite two people are there samir wants to send uh, some courier uh, to someone in antarctica so it can happen other way also so i am writing how is the weather in antarctica or how many uh, uh, how many uh, ice cubes you have thrown snow you have thrown snowballs so antarctica it will uh, receive a message and then he will reply uh, i am doing very good but uh, here very it is very cold i am eating fitness it could be anything and then uh, he will tell okay i have uh, enjoyed my life over there or i am struggling here uh, having water i am heating the water or snow so many things are there it will keep on sending the data that's how the green simpler terms it receives uh, we call it uplink when we are sending to a satellite something transponder the communication device it will uh, change into digital form waves into digital okay then digital to wave again and then it will send to the other guy downlink basically so one antenna one antenna can send and receive also so i can downlink with this one i can uplink with this one both ways so what i am doing right now since i don't have a license i am downlinking everything i can receive data but i cannot send i am not authorized uh, to send the data okay so that's how basically it works so there are different bands uh, again it's two way technical uh, it's all satellite communication there is a separate uh, i would say graduation i would say uh, bands i can tell but again it's a very long topic i don't know how much time i need to cover is it a falling star no it's a satellite one of 3000 up there all continuously receiving and sending back information how receivers pick up the signal and send it back solar panels provide the power and low thrust rockets keep the satellite in the right orbit but what if something goes wrong we have a problem our sat nav systems won't work meteorologists won't be able to predict the weather we won't be able to explore the universe in search of aliens the heads of state won't be able to spy on each other's weapons depots it will be impossible to make any tv broadcasts but you can save the world with a tin can a parachute and a bit of engineering know-how you can build your own satellite hey voila so this satellite is a small satellite which i was just showing as a rubik's cube and do you see what is this anyone who can tell me it's very simple even a measuring car. tape let me show oh that's a measuring tape correct so what is the purpose of measuring tape to measure uh, something's height or yeah height generally there is uh, one more purpose height is width or breadth I mean, also length. I think. Just uh, one more purpose. Actually, there are multiple purpose. I can build an antenna with this. I had one earlier. Maybe next time I will show you on a wooden stake uh, with certain length. We have to do a lot of calculations manually and with the help of software. And then we have to attach a device. Even for this antenna or this antenna, we have to attach a device to check whether it is giving correct signals or not. i can create an antenna with this also measuring tape okay and the satellite which we are uh, working on will have the antennas of the same thing only this i am going to send in space okay how and why uh, sir antenna which we saw yes the vid the video yeah so this antenna basically i can replace it with this one again satellite size matters i cannot send uh, this on a bigger satellite yeah you were asking something sorry so but how will that uh, is in the antenna supposed to receive and deliver messages so how will that measuring tape receive and deliver <laughs> it will receive and deliver don't worry there how many... sir what is the purpose of antenna and how it uh, sends and receives data um i don't know either okay okay uh suppose if i have this pen 
can it send or receive uh, data no okay no. or even a pencil or any stick is there wooden stick is there we need a conductor we need a conductor which can pass on the electromagnetic signals or electric signals and then uh, it can uh, convert with the help of a software it's not just uh, this antenna which i will be using there are obviously other things which has to convert this signal into digital signal zeros and ones i don't have that video maybe uh, next time i can show you so what happens is uh, in uh, environment in our uh, radio signals are there which are there and electromagnetism is there so anything which is a conductor including a key in your hand or it could be anything will receive a message even a small antenna which is there on how do you receive fm songs when uh, you are going in a car just think about it do some research you will come to know uh columbia whomsoever is there yes uh, but uh, small satellites uh, i don't have a sample because uh, i need a clean environment so small satellites also does this uh, most of the times most when i say 80% i would say 80 to 85% so do you do some research there it is electromagnetic no sir so i think uh, does doesn't mean that it's necessary for it to conduct uh, electricity or something you do some research um, then come back to me how uh, just do a research how fm radio work but sir how will the electromagnetics be received or be bounced off so what happens Because is uh, you see uh, when we receive a signal with the help of this antenna this is nothing but aluminum uh, six aluminum is there pure aluminum we can make it with copper we can make it with this metal also measuring tape also so what happens is i have to do a lot of calculation to how how much width and length this should be the stick should be mm. some all sticks are there some bigger sticks are there that is how i receive a signal i can do it with a small one also which is there on the car but that again depends on the atmospheric and the other environment and then i have this uh, connector which i will use in our uh, software defined radio sdr uh, which is internet also you can say i will connect this it will convert it into digital signals so whatever waves i am receiving or whatever signals i am receiving it will be converted into form of uh, computer language zeros and ones i cannot tell each and everything right now because it is way beyond uh, the topic just do some research and then get back to me what you have found how the fm radio works even though it's slightly different but still it uses the same concept same uh, physics okay at a uh, very high level so just do some research and get back to me it is a kind okay, of okay sir to you all i can tell lee and everything again one hour at least i need to explain everything okay okay sir sir i guess it is a very long process for uh, this uh, to make the software which converts it into binary system there are uh, i don't create any software i can uh, i have done that in python or other stuff Uh, you can Eastern, buy that yeah free of course you don't need uh, to buy until there's something else you want to do question so this is how uh, i'm just telling remote sensing basically works so sunlight with there uh, which is received by lab i think yes internet uh, is also because of satellites only sir yes yes so whatever broadband services uh, broadband is something wires and all what you see is a local mapping which is done so i am the uh, i am reliance suppose or uh, airtel or uh, vodafone i have the connectivity across the india so fiber optic cables and everything is there but how actually they are receiving internet is with the help of uh, satellite so basically what is happening is uh, there is a one major uh, player in the market which is distributing small bits and pieces to everyone so it is something like a barter system i would say wherein i give something to airtel something to vodafone that's how uh, the local internet what you get in your locality like dan or act or anything they have very faster speed even they also uh, take it on loan purpose from vodafone or airtel or anyone else so these are the major players airtel vodafone reliance and all they further uh, sublet or uh, just like on rent they give to small players which uh, 
are distributed further you you won't come to know but whatever they are charging you is what they are giving further to them plus their profit so this is how remote sensing works basically if i have a satellite then sunlight is obviously required otherwise how will i study what is going on at the land right so if i have to do some agricultural analysis what will happen sunlight which is coming at the day time uh, with the help of atmosphere it could be cloudy obviously it is uh, a lot of interference is there or atmosphere has lot of problems then satellite won't be able to scan it properly <coughs> just like signals uh, due to some uh, so it is something like uh, you have microwave at home right when you heat pizza or anything so you cannot keep your internet or broadband around microwave just do some research why we cannot keep the same thing is there with this one also somewhat same or actually same uh, so the sun basically pass on the rays to land trees everything so everything reflects some light or the other so that reflection of light uh, basically goes to the satellite satellite read that data in the form of waves everything is uh, passing on some data in a way then satellite as a transponder it is converting those waves into digital form analyzing and scanning the areas so if i have a satellite uh, say suppose if it is scanning sri lanka area sri lanka and india border sea levels are rising or not then what is happening so it will scan that area everything will reflect some light in the form of a light uh, wave it will read it convert it into digital form computer form send those images again in the form of a wave so it is something like i have a raw data it is getting converted into cooked data so i am cooking something okay then it will be received by a, a dish antenna like this one or like this one i can receive data and then uh, bigger uh, radars are there then again some person will be there on computer laptop sitting it will uh, again convert those signals into digital form even your images what you take selfies are there everything can be converted into bits and pieces zeros and ones on and off so that's how basically satellite work and uh, remote satellite works so these are the type of orbits i won't uh, go in detail just give me a minute <clears throat> so uh, we have typically three there are others also uh, leo is there which is uh, near uh, the near the orbit uh, which is very near to the earth it is still slightly in atmosphere but still it is going very nearby so leo uh, i would say international space station which is there in the sky or space it is not space it is near space uh, uh, i would say and it is leo 400 km only that's why uh, international space station is very big and with the help of telescope or even a good digital uh, camera <clears throat> i can actually take a picture multiple picture because it goes very fast within a blink of a minute or so so leo basically has a range of uh, this is just an approximation it starts somewhere around 180 km someone will say 180 someone will say 200 to 1800 or 2000 so these are all approximations there is no fixed defined value <clears throat> so whatever satellite is there it will uh, cover the whole earth area within 90 minutes or uh, 33 uh, hours if it is in near earth or orbit leo basically so international space station Uh, it covers uh, earth scanning in uh, 90 minutes basically <coughs> plus uh, since it is very near to the earth so we don't need very high fashion uh, or uh, high range uh, uh, ground stations or the receivers dish antennas or antennas with simple antenna also or uh, with uh, so many uh, uh, whatever instruments we have on ground it can receive uh, that data they will be very less uh, a uh, loss of data i would say with if we go farther and farther away there will be high loss signal signal loss basically and the high volume of data might be skipped at times so there is a repeater also there are a lot of concepts in between so there is a less delay but there are so many satellites even the small satellites are in leo so that's why it's overcrowded so like nidhi asked um, there are chances of crash but again it is approved by a central uh, un authority also so all the satellites are being tracked it is not something i send anything and no one will come to know what is there in the space until unless it is a toy okay so uh, there is a uh, lot of range frequency i won't go in frequency you won't understand a bit 
lot of calculations are there. Then uh, they are very cost effective. They are typically used for GPS, whatever Navix system is there, Navix. Or, Sir, your I mean, the sound frequency is really low now. I mean, of yours. My sound frequency. Okay. Now yes, very much. <clears throat> is it better now? No, sir. Anyone else sir, who is having this issue? Okay, now, now it's okay. So that's what happened with the satellite also. No, sometimes you will have good signals. Sometimes you will won't have. So some it is something like you are watching a cable TV. All of a sudden, it goes off, or due to some other uh, issue, it uh, technical issue with the satellite, it can go off. So something same happens like what is happening with you right now. It could be your internet. It could be my internet. I'm staying like this. I'm uh, coming near to you. I think her internet because I can hear you completely clear. So what does it mean? Do some research. Again, I'm asking why I'm asking is I want you guys to do some research and actually understand all these concepts. So there are two things I'm asking you, how FM radio works when you are moving in a car or even uh, when you are in the sitting in the very airplane, when they ask you to turn on your mobile, how those things work. And third one is, someone is able to hear me properly, someone is not able to hear. Same thing happens with the satellite also. How does it happen? You just do some Sir, your voice is a bit low. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, sir. Your master volume, or go or try your settings. Ma'am, I mean, uh, sir, actually, I can uh, hear you very clearly. Uh, sir, there is no problem here. Okay. Uh, Siddhiksha is saying, and when there is a bad signal, everyone blames the device, but not the satellite. Yes, that uh, that w that we also used to do only when we got the smart TV so with the internet and so not. It is, it is something like uh, you want to have your favorite cartoon channel, and if you want to watch uh, India versus some country match or IPL, <laughs> and all of a sudden satellite goes off. Yes, and we blame the and device so for that then, and not then the what satellite. You, do, you will break yes, the TV. Sir. You will break no, the we'll blame the signal. Blame but why blame you won't it. break the TV? No, we won't. We won't break it, sir. Okay. Then break the satellite. Break the satellite <laughs> with a gunshot, <laughs> really. <laughs> but then who would pay the money, sir, if they ask for the money? <laughs> it is just like my internet, uh, which is going cranky right now. And still, I have to pay the money. We can't help. Internet. Hello, satellite internet. They will say everything is working at their fine, their side. Everything is okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, coming to back to Leo. So basically, vehicle tracking is done via this, uh, including our TV channels and everything. Or in fact, the satellite which we are running. So I'm not sure radio is something or different concept. So all these communication happens. Uh, including the Starlink uh, space mission is there. They are launching the regular uh, uh, satellites continuously to improve the internet in USA. So that too also is a part of uh, this uh, Leo only. Mio is a uh, mid-earth uh, orbit is very rare and it has a very specific person, uh, sorry, purpose. And Geo is again, uh, bigger satellites are uh, thrown in uh, Geo uh, range basically. So Leo, anyways, uh, I hope it is clear. So Mio, Mid Earth or Middle Earth orbit, basically, they cover the pole. Uh, again, I will take an example. So this is my North Pole and South Pole. So it will go like this instead of this. So it's an elliptical path. So basically, they cover the North and the South Pole, which are the uh, you can say um, remote areas. But it will not be able to cover each and everything. But yes. Since they are moving like this, they are able to scan the Earth. So whenever Earth is rotating like this, they are going like this. So that is the range 8,000 to 18,000 kilometers. Very few are there, uh, which are there in the Mio, which has very scientific or uh, full Earth scan is required. So basically, it has the global coverage since Earth is rotating like this. 
and they are going in north and south continuously so it covers each and everything obviously time to cover earth will be different from leo leo is very near to the earth then comes the geo uh, what is the full form of geo i don't know anyone so could you say that once again what is the full form of geo not Ge the geo file orbit sorry what orbit geo stationary orbit yes so what does geo stationary mean um it is very high and goes around the equator yes so basically it is uh, it looks as if it is stationary so uh, i will just give one example there was a satellite mission uh, not via isro but it was for india isro only they went to some other country i think south africa or africa somewhere why then uh, they launched uh, this gslv uh, i mean geo uh, satellite and after launching to the space it used the fuel and it went to india side so within india it they covered few parts of india for a particular purpose and as the earth is moving the satellite is moving at the same area all the time since it is at the equator so that is a geo stationary earth orbit purpose is totally different it is a bigger satellite i cannot send this small satellite to me or geo small satellite will not be affected it will be out of range and it will it will be sorry just a toy <clears throat> so this is the equator the problem with geo is that it can only cover this particular area whatever is there near the equator below or above it cannot cover north pole or the south pole or other part of the country like kashmir is there or antarctica is there or iceland is there russia is there so every uh, orbit has a different range every orbit has a different purpose and uh, whatever uh, geo does is uh, basically it will uh, be used for communication purpose high end like navy is there or uh, army or air uh, air space is there or uh, it will be used for weather forecasting also so with this antenna i forgot uh, i will show you the image i can do weather forecasting also advanced so uh, let's go ahead so this is a typical uh, setup i think there was one video i don't know you said it so once we cover uh, maybe in some other session it is not part of it so uh, no one has asked me this question why satellites don't fall why don't satellites fall out of the sky a satellite is a type of machine that orbits earth taking pictures and collecting information there are thousands of satellites orbiting earth right now how do they all stay up there and why don't they just fall out of the sky if you throw a ball into the air the ball comes right back down that's because of gravity the same force that holds us on earth and keeps us all from floating away to get into orbit satellites first have to launch a rocket can go 25000 miles per hour that's fast enough to overcome the strong pull of gravity and leave earth's atmosphere Once the rocket reaches the right location above Earth, it lets go of the satellite. The satellite uses the energy it picked up from the rocket to stay in motion. That motion is called momentum. But how does the satellite stay in orbit? Wouldn't it just fly off in a straight line out into space? Not quite. You see, even when a satellite is thousands of miles away, Earth's gravity is still tugging on it. That tug toward Earth combined with the momentum from the rocket causes the satellite to follow a circular path around Earth and orbit. When a satellite is in orbit, it has a perfect balance between its momentum and Earth's gravity. But finding this balance is sort of tricky. Gravity is stronger the closer you are to Earth. And satellites that orbit close to Earth must travel at very high speeds to stay in orbit. For example, the satellite NOAA-20 orbits just a few hundred miles above Earth. It has to travel at 17,000 miles per hour to stay in orbit. On the other hand, NOAA's GOES-E satellite orbits 22,000 miles above Earth. 
It only has to travel about 6,700 miles per hour to overcome gravity and stay in orbit. Satellites can stay in an orbit for hundreds of years like this, so we don't have to worry about them falling down to Earth. Phew! So, uh, what we were discussing, Leo, Mio, and uh, Geo. So, Leo is very near to the Earth's orbit. So, that's why its speed has to be very high. So, what happens is whatever speed, what they were telling about the rocket. So, whenever rocket is launched, when it comes to near space or space, I would say, the same uh, launching uh, speed is there in the satellite also. It, we call it as a, it's just like a, a relative motion, I would say, or momentum, what we uh, call, or tangent lines, basically. So what happens is that uh, if I am uh, going on a, in a bus, which is going at a very small uh, speed, low speed, sorry. And then there is a train, bullet train, which is going at a very high speed. So my speed and my uh, bullet train or bus uh, speed is same. So when I fall outside uh, the that bullet train, for a particular time, my speed will be almost same. Unless friction happens, I keep on rolling in ground and some I am uh, stuck somewhere. I uh, fall down and I stop all of a sudden. Things are different in atmosphere or space. There is no such uh, obstruction. So it will keep on going like this. And then uh, momentum is uh, affected by the gravity, but there is an equal uh, equilibrium, just like planets going around the sun, but then everything does not go towards the sun. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, I am having throat since morning I have been speaking. So uh, basically, that's how the satellites don't fall. Even if they fall, uh, our atmosphere, thanks to our atmosphere, it will almost take care of it. It will burn it up, whatever uh, pieces are there which are coming towards the earth. So hardly there have been cases, most of them fall on the sea because sea is huge. Uh, land is very less, I would say. But uh, that chances are uh, very less. Many people are working, even we have to work on space debris and how to overcome it. So, so many research work is going on. So it is something like I throw a ball, I throw a ball like this. What will happen since there is no momentum, proper momentum? it will fall down. But if I throw at a very high speed and a particular angle, just like rocket throwing a satellite at a particular angle, then it will keep on going at that speed until less air or the friction comes in between and stops it. So if suppose that no atmosphere is there, I keep a, throw a ball, it will keep on going like this. So Newton gave that concept, Newton's law uh, and everything is there. Uh, maybe later on we will come to that part for sure uh, as a part of our astronomy. That is why uh, the satellites keep on going round and round all the time and they don't fall. So it is something like this. So satellite is going in a straight direction. Gravity is pulling it and then momentum is there, which is perpendicular. Tendential uh, momentum, motion we call. Actually, Sidiksha, gravity of the Earth is not that strong. It is uh, Gravity is one of the weakest of our, in addition to all other uh, is there. That's why rockets are easily able to launch. Otherwise, gravity will pull it back and no rocket launch can happen. So it, there is a very uh, delicate, uh, I would say, balance. It is just like in circus, uh, someone is walking on the wire. I don't have video. I wanted to include that also. So they are uh, doing a balancing act, something like this, right? So something same is happening with the satellites also. So they, even if the International Space Station also falls, it will fall, it will decay. It's, uh, we call it a uh, orbital decay. It will go down. Again, fuel will be used to do a course correction. It will go to the same or near space, uh, near same orbit all the time. So that's how uh, we keep on doing. But this is not always the case with small satellites uh, because it is very costly. So, uh, I will skip sir, this part, history, yeah. Sir, can I say something? Yeah, yeah, sir. Sir, the reason I think the satellites are able to stay in orbit is that the gravity of Earth is there, no, sir. Mm -hmm. I think uh, at that position, uh, gravity is too weak for uh, the uh, satellite to fall down and too strong for the satellite to fly in the sky. That if you combine with momentum, it stays a bit stable. Is that possible? 
technically in a way whatever you are telling is what uh, technically how it is derived so yes but again uh, gravity is not weak gravity is not uh, too high also how at the same point gravity is weak also and high also i mean more also that is not a possibility gravity is one of the whatever forces we know gravity is uh, one of the weakest ones that's why a rocket or even a bird can fly right had yes. it been at some places gravity is very less than birds won't be even flying or even a helicopter or a airplane cannot take off so so many things are there um, so it is uh, more of a calculation work again but still uh, there is a very delicate equilibrium since uh, earth's gravity is pulling it plus uh, that satellite has a fixed speed or almost near fixed speed that is maintained so it had it been earth's shape was square or rectangle things would be changing at that time it will not be the same yes sir i know rocket equation and i know the chemical equation and propulsion equation also how much fuel is required but again i cannot tell each and everything right now it's again a full uh, graduation in part i would say that's why we have aerospace engineering and other things i can tell you everything but uh, i need time okay anyways uh, so this is more about isro now so there are different types of uh, 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 <clears throat> satellites communication satellite like we are communicating communicating via internet or phones or tv or anything earth observation weathering remote sensing the example which i gave you uh, it is scanning the land particular land for fires or agriculture or anything scientific satellites are there navigation are there gps navic experimental satellites are there uh, which are doing more studies uh, how better we can do the pay, uh, payload deployment post phase and all that stuff small satellites uh, which i we are working actually or it's uh, more or less small and student satellites combination basically nano and pico sats so this is the best example as you said you can uh, study more because uh, it was uh, one of the famous ones for scientific and uh, space research work so there were different type of uh, scanning uh, c z t i x x t i t and all so these uh, scanners were there ultraviolet that's how it uh, basically covers the galaxy part i will take maybe 5 minutes more uh, i just want to show something so this is how astro sets look like you can study or i will anyway share the astro set yes sir astro set so there are different uh, Cartosat is one of the famous ones for higher resolution earth mapping basically 1 2 3 these are some of the successful uh, launches of isro there have been failure also so for different reasons including disaster management of uh, fire uh, whenever fire is there or tsunami is there or cyclone is there otherwise if satellites were not there we won't be able come to know when the cyclone is going to hit the land our area those who are uh, residing at the coastal areas so all these things are actually taken care by uh, our satellites so from baskara 1 which was a uh, atmospheric to uh, ocean sat 2007 and beyond also so all these satellites have been launched by isro actually so all the observations are made uh, scanning is done how much cloud quantity is there or uh, soil moisture is there where it is reducing water levels and everything so so many things are there including the satellite gravity also using altimeter when it is changing where anomalies are coming in all those things so there are different type of satellites uh, uh, so they are being used for uh, telecommunication uh, telemedicine tele education like uh, 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 there are few courses also based on uh, that satellites only so uh, satellite aid search uh, this is basically used for uh, navy not for us common people rescue and everything so if some someone is lost some farmer is lost so with the help of gps if gps is not working then also satellite mapping is done of the sea or that particular area and uh, they will try to figure out where they have lost so you must have seen all these dish antennas so it is something same to what i have uh, obviously it has more uh, uh, better signals so i will skip uh, navic uh, is not same as that of gps what we have google play store you just install a software and it will start working navic is something hardware part 
which is compatible with the latest mobiles what we are getting now not every mobile is uh, compatible so there are a lot of restrictions and it is not accessible to all that's the only uh, problem with navic so this example i have already taken so there are different things uh, mineralogy is the landscape how land is changing how uh, urban population is growing anywhere or rural population is decreasing so many things are there everything is being done so now <clears throat> coming to the last part what are the limitations of satellite you must have seen this in tata sky this transmission is interrupted by a sun outage so twice a year this happens when earth and satellite uh, alliance basically i would say or they come in line of sight so uh, this does not happen all the time solar cycle sun cycle also changes just like we have winters and summers we do have a solar cycle every 11 years so now is the solar min has started minimum so not much of outage should happen maybe one or two max otherwise what will happen is if uh, solar winds are very high then it will destroy or uh, disturb the signals no signal can reach out to the earth at that particular location wherever the sun is sending the solar winds or it could also impact uh, there has been a uh, few cases satellites uh, were uh, transmitters and everything were uh, just uh, broken and uh, uh, they were burnt basically due to the sun so there are a lot of limitations like uh, orbital as i was saying uh, leo satellites they will keep on falling down and then uh, fuel can be used so so many corrections are there which keeps on happening so they work in straight line it is not something i can scan the area which i am not even able to send the signals to so a lot of limitations are there so cost is there satellites are launched uh, to communicate with each other so that they can cover different areas or lands so uh, so there is a possibility of space debris it can collide so if rocket has a small debris debris as in uh, some rock or it could be anything if it collides with satellite which is very lightweight it can change its orbit also okay and uh, satellite collision can also happen so uh, the uh, award which i shared in our whatsapp group this is the award so what i did is with the same uh, antenna i received the uh, image basically it sent the signals and i converted it with the help of a software and antenna into a digital form and uh, again converted to a image though it is not a it again depends on atmosphere how i am receiving with which antenna i am receiving i have received very good images also with this one so it is not the case always uh, it will be it could be a problem again with iss also their communication link also so these are the same antenna